In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do some basic tips and using Photoshop. First, you want to create a new pattern. So this will be the base of the project that you do. I always duplicate the layer delete the background just in case if I want to do some more work to it um, I think you can unlock it but some backgrounds are unlockable it just depends on what background you're using um, if there's an advanced way to unlock then let me know but that's just how I always did it next we want to I want to show you guys some cool tricks and using text so we might want to so we might want to put the text like this and you can right click uh, go to blending options and you have all these options to where you can blend different things like shadowing, inner shadow, outer glow, inner glow, beveled embossed, uh, satin, gradient over overlay, uh, pattern overlay, stroke. So let's let me just show you some real simple tips when you're creating uh, text over things. Okay, so the best way to be able to highlight a text over an object is drop shadow you can put a drop shadow on there um, you can put it at any uh, strength I guess you could say you know any of the strength um, you can make it to where it kind of you know goes in a distance you can strengthen the color of the shadow uh, strengthen the size of the shadow, but sometimes it doesn't always work this way. So you just kind of got to play with it as you go. So as you see, uh, if I just kind of very subtle put a drop shadow on there that's really dark, it already just stands out. And you can put some outer glow to it, then it'll really make it pop. So let's turn the background to let's say black so we want to go over here to our paint and then um, click down here on the color go to black and then we want to paint the background black so as you see now the text is highlighted it, it's it's a lot bolder it's a lot easier to see so and then you can go back in and you know try to kind of adjust the outer glow maybe you just want it real subtle around it or maybe you want it to be you know real bold um this is just an easy way to kind of highlight your text whenever you're you know doing videos or if you have a lot of uh objects in your in your scene you know that kind of stuff so as we create things we want to be able to have our text really stand out so next we might want to create a logo um, a good simple easy way is to just use your shape uh, let's say that you you want to be able to make this logo um, We'll say we're making uh, some type of baby shoe logo. I kind of like these feet right here. So we'll we'll create a foot, right? And we'll color the foot with white. And then we'll bring the foot over here. We can see if there's another pattern with the other foot yeah yeah the right side 
So we, we have two feet here, right? So have it kind of look like that. And then on the my text, it might say like, you know, we might have our, our name of our company. Um, let's see, what's a good name? Um, okay, well, I'm just going to use that as an example. Shoes for tots, you know, like toddlers. Okay, so this we can color a different color if we wanted um we can change the the coloring let's change it to something that might be more uh to go with this logo um shoes for tots um let's go with white just doesn't work okay that 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 looks okay um we'll go with that Okay, so let's say that we want to make this kind of form into that, right? So you can take and the pattern, shape two, shape one, that's your pattern. Then click on the move and move the patterns, you know, kind of wherever you want it. We'll bring down the shoes for tots to kind of center. And then we'll move the feet around it to kind of match. So we'll kind of move the feet around to kind of just, you know, pull it in a little bit. I mean, this is just really simple stuff for you guys that are just starting out. And you're, you're just learning how to move and navigate around Photoshop um, the, for you advanced uh photographers i guess you could say and editors um i'm sure that this right here is you know very very basic for what you do um but at the same time there's a lot of people who have contacted me and asking me to do photoshop uh videos because there's not a lot out there and um they they just like the way i do certain things so they wanted to know how I go about doing this. So what I did is I created a circle and I created it around the the logo we got going here. And then I moved the circle as you see the layers, you can drag them down and also up and it changes, you know, from being uh, in front of objects or behind objects. So in this one, I want the, the circle to be behind the object. Then I can go to blending objects, or I can go up here to the top, uh, blending options, and change the color, or I can go up here to the top and change the color. So since we're using um, black, uh, let's, let's change it to um, blue kind of looks good, I guess of a darker blue maybe yeah that looks a little better so we got the darker blue and then we can add some blending options to kind of go around that uh drop shadow works okay but let's go with the uh, the outer glow and then as you see it's already bringing the logo to life a little bit so we just kind of give it that little extra pop and already it looks like something that you you could use for a brand. You could use this for maybe um, uh, a YouTube page or Facebook social media or something like that. You know, just something simple and subtle and uh, very easy to make. And then if you want to render this to where you don't have a background to it, so you could take your background off, you could... Um, Click on the little eye right there and take your background off. And then when you go to save it, hit save for web and devices. And then change it to a PNG file. It's taking a little bit longer to load up. Change it to a PNG 24. And when you do that, it'll give you this checkered looking 
background and then you just hit save and once you hit save then uh you're you're ready to go once you hit save you're ready to go you can pull that onto any kind of picture that you want um let's create a new and just to show you that you can pull it onto the picture and then um, let's say that, that this picture here is you know you got something going on <laughs> uh, that doesn't really work out the way I wanted it so let's say that you got this picture here Maybe you have, you know, a, a certain type of background that you really like that you wanted to add to it. You know, I'm just showing you some different options that you could do. Um, and then you could just drag and drag in the drag in the option into Photoshop. And just drag it in like that. Hold down shift. Um, and as you left click to drag and it'll keep the dimensions of the object and then you could just drag it to you know however you need it or do you need it on the bottom of a uh, a video do you, are you going to put it on to uh, maybe social media maybe you want it right in the center and if you don't like it you can always hit don't place and then you know and that doesn't place it but those are just some simple tricks and tips with Photoshop, making different designs um, using text. And also, if you just needed a simple, simple, simple logo or some type of, um, you know, text about your company or anything like that. Those are just some simple ideas. Thank you for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like if you like the video. Comment. If you want to know something else, thank you for watching.